Hello there beautiful souls. Welcome into the channel. This is Sage, Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you for being here and I do hope you're doing well in this time. I'm about to get some general messages for you because these are general messages. They may not apply to everyone. So take the messages that apply to you and the rest let them fly. I thank you for coming through. I thank you so much for taking the time out to hit that like button and for sharing the messages with those you love and for being a subscriber here on this channel. If you're not yet subscribed, continue. I mean, consider subscribing to the channel, okay? So I'm going to get some messages for you for today, Cancer. So stay tuned. You know, I feel like you're feeling happy and comfortable. It could be about love. And I'm about to tell you this story. It could be about meeting your twin flame. And this happiness that you're feeling is self-manifested, my darling. It is because you've been working on yourself. I feel like you're like focusing on you. You know, taking the aspects of life that suit you or suit your happiness or promote well-being for you. Like participating in any activity that's going to make you feel good. You're choosing what you put on your plate. And so basically, I feel you've manifested this state of well-being for yourself, this happiness. I also feel like you have gifts to share. You have a lot of thoughts, emotions right now in this time that you could share with others. You know what I mean? Um, like family going out, laughing, just sharing off yourself because you feel full. Some of you are really holding back and keeping yourself to yourself. You know, like you're not sharing. You're not sharing. You're, you're, you're like, these emotions I have are precious. I'm not letting you into my energy. Okay, you know what I mean? So... That's what's up. Mm. Okay, so I want to share with you because yesterday, early yesterday in the day, I was feeling out your energy cancer and, and I got the energy of someone who has something that they're feeling happy about, but not talking about it. It's the energy of a female who meets this person or, you know, anybody in love. It's a new love. And this person is making this person, it's making you feel good. But when you go back home, you're smiling. You're not telling anyone what's going on. Maybe your house has chaos, you know, but it's like you're, you can't. This person takes you out of this world. You know, the happiness that they make you experience, it takes you out of your normal world. So you're keeping it in yourself. It's like in your soul energy. It makes you smile. It makes you happy. You know, it brought back to mind this energy of a book. Or it's also a movie, A Raisin in the Sun. I actually mentioned this in Leo's reading, the last reading I did for Leo. A Raisin in the Sun, it just came to me. And yesterday, I kid you not, Cancer. I don't know how I forgot to even include this in your messages for yesterday, but goosebumps to kill thinking about this feeling. And the, the woman in this, in this story that was experiencing all these lovely feelings... Her name was Benisa or something like that. She's the sister. Anyway, I, The Raisin in the Sun is very beautiful. I'm about to start watching it again. I just found it on YouTube. I'm watching the, the Danny Glover version. Okay. I read this book in school. I feel it is very important. In the reading for Leo, I was feeling out the energy of the sun. His name was Walter. He wanted to take action. He wanted to invest. And he was really counting on his mother's money to invest in a company because he really wanted to get out of poverty okay so i feel like we could be looking at virtues when it comes to a raisin in the sun virtues like patience with benicia i think that's her name benita or benicia um because i haven't watched this movie in years really um just she, she was the esocentric one esocentric i kept saying I She's eccentric and she's also very esoterical in some ways. She's different. You know, she dresses differently. She embraces her spirituality and all of her family is like, what's wrong with this girl? But she's not afraid to be who she is. Her mother was trying to get up, get her um, dating this other guy down the road who was a doctor or something like that. But he had, he was too limited in his mind for her. Okay. So she met this other brother from Africa who she loved because, you know, he spoke to her soul, so on and so forth. He thought out of the box. He was just, just out of ordinary. And she, she loved him. So whenever she went home, she's always singing, even though they lived in poverty, so to speak, you know. 
she's always singing and feeling good and people around her keep wondering what's wrong with this girl you know in the midst of crisis you're happy you know what i mean um, but she wasn't telling them about this other guy as yet. So it's that energy of, I'm getting the goosebumps. Yesterday, I couldn't. It, it was like so much energy. Um, so um, for those of you who are interested, watch that movie. It's A Raisin in the Sun. Yeah. And it's Dan the, the, the version with Danny Glover. Okay. Because something could be happening. You could be coming into a soulmate. There may be someone from the past that you need to release. Some of you are going through uh, maybe anxiety, feeling anxious about financial situations, waiting for something to come around in as, as Walter. Okay. And there are also other characters in there that you can get to know. Maybe some of the other characters' role applies to an experience that you're going through all right so all right so let's get started for this message for you CMOS heals the body by removing harmful chemicals that are caused by some foods we eat hormones toxic substances and radiation from 5g from our devices heal your temple with the minerals of infinite oceans CMOS has over 90 of the 102 nutrients our body needs, like copper, which creates balance and harmony. To learn more about CMOS health benefits or to order your first premium grade CMOS, email italkitchenstyle at gmail.com. All right, beautiful. Let's get into your messages. So I feel like your financial freedom here is truly important to you because it is your freedom of expression of living of creating of recreation all right that's what you want i feel like you found the key the answer to this freedom to this financial abundance here through focus and determination and willpower I feel like you were captured or captivated or bound. Okay, you weren't able to move, to see. There, is, there are walls around you, whether this was your belief patterns, your doubts, or people around you, your experiences, the environment you grew up in that was telling you about your financial freedom. You found the key to, to free yourself. So I feel you with this key, unchaining yourself at this point right now something is moving through your soul i feel like the key is not even as um materialistic as it is spiritual because there's someone that came through or it was your own essence that saved you this is the key water sand is a cup's vibration okay it's an abundance of love of divinity of your connection to the divine that came through you you notice the ace of cups is full of water full of emotions and love so i feel like you're very spiritual and very intuitive and you do have connection to divine information and that is how you found the key you weren't fighting in the physical maybe while you were in this lockdown or in this caged situation here with the ace of swords you spent this time diving deep into yourself because the ace of swords also has water at her feet here and you see the water coming through with the ace of cups um, get, I get the energy of a very spiritual man or woman who um, it's almost like telekinesis, but it's with unseen energy. So someone issued something for you, this key, without even moving. It's like they gave you this, this answer without moving. And I feel this is coming from you. As I'm seeing you standing here giving something out of yourself, from yourself, love, without even moving from where you were, without still in a position being blindfolded and bond, in bondage. You are still able to give love. And this is the key to your financial freedom. You have found it. And um, it's so very beautiful because you were able to tap into Queen of Swords mentality. It's, uh, it's like visualizing the pentacles vibration here. Okay, visualizing your well-being. 
and we see the queen of the queen of pentacles down here notice the pentacles energy here and you have seen your vision through you were focusing on where you wanted to be and it happened i want you to realize this is self-realization here at its best going the sun card is realization okay going through especially just being in a place where you couldn't i feel like you couldn't move you felt stuck you didn't know what to do maybe okay so you i feel like you found some truth in meditation you did i feel like you were able to dive into your past emotions and so on and so forth and you found the truth you were able to get clarity to speak clarity to speak even over your own life to break even spells and change chains spiritually by speaking okay Mm -hmm. and that is the act maybe an act of love I, let me tell you once more i'm getting the energy of someone standing here bound like this but it's very very self-aware that's what i'm telling you it's the energy of a one of those chinese masters like mr miyagi and and the enemies captured him blindfolded him and put him in bondage like this but he was still so masterful can you imagine what i'm saying he wasn't afraid he was still so very self-aware, aware of his environment, um, aware of the dirt at his feet that he can still use to fight, you know? And I feel like he still won the fight. You get what I'm saying? That's how powerful this feels to me. You found the key even in bondage. You were able to serve love. Because imagine Mr. Miyagi, you know these spiritual people. They don't go around causing, um, bothering anyone really. And they always are talking about love. So I feel like you found a way through love to free yourself from bondage, whether that was physically or spiritually. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. You did find your freedom with the sun card here. You connected to source, light, sun. You're, you're the child of the most high. I feel like you have already walked away from a lot of things. Even if you haven't physically done so, mentally, spiritually, you've made that decision. I feel like sometimes you go for some rev back in the past. Like to say, uh, maybe you need to get somewhere, but you need that extra boost. I feel you're able to go back to some hard spaces in your life to help you to get through now. You're able to think back on things that you've gotten through before to help to strengthen you and motivate you forward. You get what I'm saying? And um, yeah. And then the end result, well, the outcome for you today was beautiful or is or will be because this is a dream come true card with the Ten of Cups. Beautiful, like celebration. It's the freedom that I've been talking about. We have three tens on your board. Just a lot of new beginnings in mindset, in financial stability, and in love, in home, in family, in well-being, in clarity. Powerful. I feel like you, like I say, you made this happen. You're about to maybe come into connection with family, past soulmates, so on and so forth. This dream come true, okay, is something that you've been working on manifesting. You created this, maybe even physically with your hand. You know, something you've invested in financially it could be a home, financially and emotionally invested in this. You know, and the dream come true can be love and money for some of you because we have the ten of pentacles repeated along with the ten of hearts here. Okay, and it's like beauty. It's like an abundance of money too. We have we have the king and queen of pentacles out on the board. Money and love. And this is for your today's message. Heart connections, hope, relax. So it's really about home and comfort and stability and good feelings and um, feeling like you have something to feel good about. All of that is coming up for you today. It's beautiful. Like look at all these hearts and pentacles over here and this is something that you've created i feel like you've been created this you've been working on this for some years for some of you you could be finding alignment in business or in marriage and i feel powerfully this could be a marriage 
really deciding to take that that huge step forward into marriage okay so you may have accepted the proposal or i feel like you've received you feel abundant like liberated with the with the sun card and the queen of pentacles financial liberation even or just receiving it's so beautiful honestly there's also some movement taking place someone may be coming to visit you this could be something that you're passionate about that you're working on working on finding something out and i feel you're going to decipher that code um something spiritual i feel um something that has even to do with the spiritual and the physical you're one something is here that you want to see and i feel like you may get this clarity today because you're not going to give up i feel like you know what you're looking for and the answer is here for you for today and then we have the six of swords which is another card of movement taking place for you transitions could be physically relocating i feel like this is the energy after you have freed yourself you're moving into something new calmer waters maybe deciding to move to the church to get married i feel like it was all up to you really and so you're making that decision and that could be today okay so let's see what is the because the outcome for today is the seven of wands which is knowing you have the upper hand the things are going to work out in your favor the actions that you're taking are propelled by desires and feelings of fulfillment chasing your dreams really your soulmate maybe you're moving toward fire sign earth sign or this is you just coming into alignment cancer with something that feels good um it feels like you're something valuable is out there like a jewel a piece of jewel or something precious like money that is or are just good feelings valuables that is supposed to align with you and you're about to align with it and it is yours you know what i mean it, you deserve it it is within you it is in the ex in the in the physical and you're about to align spiritual and physical together or two people coming together two situations two part two business partnerships you have the ten of pentacles the two of pentacles we have an offer coming in and your dream coming true for today the two of pentacles let me just tell you is also a soulmate it's the twin flame vibration okay it's decent values are fine mind similar values soulmates so it's finding that zing and someone that makes you laugh and feel good right and it's a seven i feel like you may be deciding to stand up for what you want something that you believe in you may be sending a message or receiving a message from someone look at that <laughs> the jack of hearts someone that wants to say something Maybe about the Eight of Swords, the lack of connection. I cannot seem to reach you. Someone may be trying to connect with you. They have something to say to you, but they can't connect with you. It's like I say, you block. Maybe you blocked connection with this person. They're trying to reach out to you. Maybe this person wants to offer you love or this financial situation that i was talking about you're going to align with some money maybe that's what this person wants to offer you because we see they're offering something but they, what they want to say is that the the lines are down there's no physical connection you know i feel you love i feel your love and i want more but there's no connection here oh my <laughs> So the A, they do want this connection. This is true love. This is what this person wants to say. Fellow water sign possibly. Oh my gosh. It's a heart soulmate energy. Mm -mm. Oh yeah. Soul ties. Signed. It's like this person wants to marry you. Could be an offer of marriage for you coming up today. Or just words, expressions of love, feeling good. And I do feel like it's love and money. So there's a lot going on for you. Let's connect together. We um, let's sign a soul contract. So this is like someone that wants you to accept a vow, a commitment. Let's do it. We are mates. Okay. So for me, this the two of pentacles is like that zing. Someone that you intimate, like you instantly connect with this person. Like love at first sight is the two of um, pentacles. Like zing. Like someone you go out with, you laugh, you have fun. 
you love each other you respect each other because you share the same values you can build a relationship start a business the two of hearts is soul connection so it's like you may not feel that zing right off of the bat but you know deep down like when you look into each other's eyes there's something about the soul that you know this person is a part of you and then we're seeing both of these cards so this could be amazing for you for this person that wants to approach you and i feel today what is the queen of pentacles what is that it said it's like intuition fire sign like energy it's like going after what you want or having an energy the seven of wands could be an earth sign or a fire sign that's coming toward you someone is attracted to you is mesmerized by you okay and someone is open to you and is dreaming of you and can't wait to be with you wants to create with you take action with you you know like want to travel have fun have various experiences with you i feel like you want this too you've been dreaming cancer of this abundance that's coming toward you and i feel like look at you you've received and now you're making a decision let's see what the six of wands is you're saying sorry or someone is saying sorry someone will be coming toward you movement moving on moving toward flirtatiousness and maybe finding the time to give you today what is the six of swords but i do feel that like your mindset has changed you are a different person cancer creating love creating happiness i feel like that's what you're saying you know you want you're creating happiness for you right now like you're saying listen i just want happiness and love around me and you're like you're moving forward you're moving on some of you are even you're kind of sad about not connecting with others but i feel like or maybe you're connecting with others someone is thinking about you wish i had you someone just wants to be maybe in your home move toward your home okay someone may be moving toward their home today and then we have the sun energy which is forgiveness and i wanted to touch on that really because i feel like forgiveness can help you to heal even your financial stability um to release and to make space for new okay because maybe that's what this is all about because remember the mr miyagi energy he's um he's abundant he sees from a higher perspective with the ace of swords so this is what we're talking about clarity eagle eye bird's eye view i feel like that's what you got even though you were somehow trapped you were able to tap into your soul and get a bird's eye view and still forgive and give love and for some for some way somehow that um and you weren't doing it for money you were just doing it for your own peace of mind clarity in your mind to have space in you that's why you forgive so i feel like think about forgiveness today with the six of ones and the six of swords it feels like clearing out energy making space for new and you may receive something abundant all right and then we have marriage and union up here so amazing messages for your day cancer i do hope you found some that inspires you and is able to help you on this wonderful journey that you're on give thanks i hope the best for you may good feelings continue to come toward you may you not feel alone and all of that and all of that you know much love thank you for being a part of this journey hit the like button share comment subscribe your support means a lot on your way out i'll see you in the next tarot reading remember that your all all is within you you can be do have everything and anything in this world you desire because you are all oh, let's do this yes i know that question that, that just came to your mind what's that this one prosperity sure prosperity sober being like aware being hopeful welcoming in prosperity hopeful expectations and welcome to a place of magic where like things just multiply and prosper for you all right <laughs> much love to you beautiful soul bye take care